So, <coughs> can you see the text? No. No. Okay. Now you can see it. Ah, yes, sir. Right. So this is where we stopped in the last class. The man from hell. So what happened was the hippie boy dropped the stick. Man from hell and the woman from hell. There was a bargaining, a sort of bargaining on the compensation, the price of the stick. Five dollars were asked and finally a man from hell takes out a five dollar bill from his pocket. The hippie boy without waiting for man from hell to finish his words he snatches snatches away the five dollar bill and quickly goes out exits to the right of the stage. The hippie girl goes after him, follows after him, smiling innocently. She waves her hand. Hippie girl, generation gap. It's the generation gap. gap. Again, well, the same topic of generation gap. gap. Because this action of the hippie guys, the man from hell and the woman from hell may not understand. Man and the woman from hell leaping into action, they act immediately, they quickly, they are spurred into action. Rush to the gutter because without, they don't want to waste the opportunity to get hold of, to catch the stick from the gutter. So they leap into action, rush to the gutter where the stick is lying. Just then, the sun suddenly goes behind a cloud. So it becomes very dim. It was very bright. It was a bright sun. But now, the sun goes behind a cloud so that, you know, the brightness of the day is lost. And the street noises gradually fade. And the street noises, they become softer. At the very end, just for a second, some sound is heard. Sound of what? Some construction activity is going on. Construction work and the riveting, a burst of riveting, driving a rivet, a nail into something. In a riveting is heard from a construction site somewhere off in the distance. So this is the background. Man from hell. Gingerly. He gingerly picks up the dirty stick. The, the stick is lying in the gutter. So he very, very carefully, cautiously, gingerly, cautiously picks up the dirty stick with his fingertips. On the fingertips, with his other hand, what happens is he takes the newspaper. A newspaper is standing out. It is sticking out of his pocket. It is jutting out of his pocket. Madaki or a newspaper in the pocket little under. He takes the news newspaper that can be seen protruding, standing out, sticking out of his pocket. He spreads the newspaper open 
and he uses it to wipe clean the stick. He cleans the stick because the stick was lying in the gutter. Well, oh, this was a close one. This was a very, very close one. You know, the opet catching, uh, making use of the opportunity. It was a narrow escape, a close one. Oh, idur bhayengra, kanda vare. Tetsha vatu, bhagyatan gittiya da. So, they are, you know, in possession. The man from hell and the woman from hell, they are in possession of the stick, finally. Avasana, ye stick ke, avadda kail kitti. Woman from hell. Earth's duty isn't easy, is it? Oh, ye bhoomi rula pani, atra yelukko rula pani anu valla, alle. Earth's duty isn't easy because they are the earth, they are members of the earth duty squad. We saw it at the beginning. So earth's duty isn't so easy, isn't it? The woman from hell makes a comment. Man from hell, it was a good experience on your first day of on-the-job training. Aditya devasate, anibhavam, kola, ale, a nice experience on your first day of on-the-job training. This is on-the-job training. Now, woman from hell, oh, I was on Tender hooks, I can tell you. Oh, in here, I was on tender hooks, very anxious, very uncertain, a sort of anxiety had, had caught hold of me. You know, I was, an, I was very anxious, I was in anxiety, I was on tender hooks. Now, the man who turned into a stick, and they have an atma the man who turned into a stick suddenly exhibits what? A strong reaction to something. He reacts. To something we don't know. There was a reaction uh, in the man. Man and the woman from hell alertly respond. They look at the stick uh, as if what happened. They look at the man who turned into a stick. They look at his reaction. Woman from hell. A pattern on the reaction. What is it? Woman from hell says, Oh, there is the child. It is when the man from the hell, sorry, the man who turned into a stick, when he saw the child, that he reacted. Oh, there is the child. Man from hell, greatly alarmed. At once, Hides the stick. Kutiya kanda patane. He hides the stick behind his back. On a sudden thought, patana on alochita. He pushes the stick under his jacket. Amade shirt kupai thandi leke. He he body the stick he pushes. And finally, down into his trousers, he stands ramrod stiff. Ramrod stiff. Ramrod no orjale. The ramrod stiff for ramrod stiff. He stands straight as if nothing happened. So he stands very straight like this for several seconds. Then at one, all at once the excitement melts from the face of the man who turned into a stick. But on the, he becomes a little bit, you know, uh, uh, ordinary. There was a sudden excitement when he saw the child coming. So that uh, excitement, you a stick man and woman from hell, relieved also, relaxed their postures. They were standing like a, a ramrod, a stiff, you know, they were standing very straight and now they, you know, relax into an ordinary posture. Stick. Vadi kathavaraya to himself. It doesn't matter. Saravila. It doesn't matter. There was nothing I could have done anyway, was there. Allegalu. In such a in a situation like this, I can't do anything. Can I? 
man from hell pulling out the stick he pulls out the stick from his trousers and jacket wow that was a close shave oh bhagyam a second a second a second dangerous situation because the child came but he didn't see he couldn't the child could not see the stick woman from hell but you know i i kind of feels sorry for him enike kashtam thonnu i kind of feel sorry for him endo oru oru kashtam thonnu aa kutiyada karyathil now the man from hell look so oh, he becomes very very serious da nokke ingeneyulla parivadigalukku ee kashtam anugamba daya sneham idakka bhoomiyil manushyarude saadhanangala ingeneyulla saadhanangalukku nammalude idil yaadhu sthanam illa see for feelings like this for emotions like this for sympathy has no place in our profession because we are people from hell we are not you know living beings on the earth we were we are not human beings we are not man and woman so a man and woman well feelings are ordinary and there is no wonder but as far as we are concerned we have passed that stage aa kattoka nammal kadidha because we are in hell we are coming from hell so in our heart such human feelings have no place see sympathy has no place in our profession well let's get cracking shall we start thodangam alle so he he holds out the stick he takes out the stick well here is the stick that crazy interruption appayen vandathu the interruption the intervention from the side of the boy the boy came suddenly played havoc with our schedule you know it spoiled it ruined played havoc ruined what with our schedule it spoiled our uh, schedule woman woman from hell accepts the stick she takes the stick and holds it in both hands rendu kai kondu pidikunu as if to make a ceremonial offering i didn't realize how light it was oh itra bhara korva irunu it's very light it feels very light man from hell it couldn't be better for a first try out uh, it's with nice isn't it for a first experiment for a first trial now make your report start making the report in exactly the order you learned don't uh, don't make mistakes because it should be systematic do it in a systematic way as you have been taught as you have learned woman from hell yes sir i'll do it i'll be systematic i'll do it in a systematic way what does she do she examines the stick from every angle with the the earnestness of a young intern just like you know like a like a, a trainee like a, an apprentice well she uh, closely watches she closely observes the stick on every side ah uh, what do you do ella bhagavu aadhyamayittu jolil kerumbul but in turn an apprentice you know they be very serious very very serious so the first she says she makes the observation and she starts writing the report the first thing i notice is that a distinction a difference may be observed between the top and the bottom of the stick so there is there's a difference between the top and the bottom of this stick the top is fairly encrusted with dirt and grease from human hands the top for the top part you know uh, we have evidence of you know people's uh, intervention manushyan mari pidichinde paadu undu adu it is encrusted with it is covered with what grease enna ennamayam oil 
from human hands. Now, the top is the top is deeply, fairly deeply encrusted. It is covered with dirt and grease from human hands. Note, on the other hand, on the other hand, how rubbed and scraped the bottom is. In the third bhagam, it is rubbed and scraped the churandiri. It, it has been, you know, as if, you know, people have meddled with it. It is scraped, you know, churandiri. So people have done something uh, with the, the, the bottom part. That means this is something, you know, not something holy, something divine, something, something unaffected. So people have, you know, attached it and they have made use of it. I interpret, I interpret this as meaning that the stick has not always been laying in a ditch. It has not been simply lying in a gutter or ditch without performing any useful function. So it has been used by people. That is, that, that's the meaning of, uh, well, these things. But that during its lifetime, it was employed, it was used by people for some particular purpose. So people have used it. It is not an ordinary, untouched, uh, unaffected uh, natural stick. No, it has been used by people. This is the meaning. Now, the stick talks to himself, talks to itself, to himself angrily. He gets me. That's obvious, isn't it? Ah, because he is commenting on the remark made by the woman from hell. It is true of everybody. It is true of everybody, woman from hell. But it seems to have suffered rather harsh treatment. It has been, you know, subjected to very harsh, severe treatment. The poor thing has scars all over it. In the Metamuru Padandu, there are scars. The man from hell laughs. Excellent. But what do you mean by calling it a poor thing? Poor thing, sympathy. I'm afraid. You have been somewhat infected by human ideas. Infected by human ideas. Human diseases. What? Sympathy. Compassion. Love. She says, poor thing. No, you have to be very objective. Because you are a woman from hell. You are not supposed to have. You are not supposed to have human feelings. No. So, you should shed, you should, you know, abandon all those human feelings. Now, woman from hell, infected by human ideas? Man from yes. We in hell, see, we are people from hell, have a different approach. We are not like human beings. To our way of thinking, there's something different. This stick, which has put up with every kind of abuse, the stick which he has put up with, it has tolerated what? Every kind of abuse because it has been used by several people until its whole body is covered with scars. Never ru running away. The stick never ran away. I'm never being discarded. I'm never abandoned. Should be called a capable and faithful stick. Ah, either? Manisha Marada, we are going to do it all. The use and misuse by human beings, it suffered, it tolerated. So, it's a faithful stick. Upper, Vishwasthanayat Lodi Vadiyad. A very capable, Kadivulla, a faithful stick. Right. This is the observation that we make. Not, you know, don't, uh, don't be infected, uh, you know, with uh, uh, human ideas, human diseases, hu human feelings. Woman from hell. Still, it's only a stick. Even a monkey can make a stick do what he wants. He 
He will play tricks with the stick, even a monkey. A human being with the same qualities would be simple minded. But he would be very dull, simple minded, foolish. Now, man from hell, emphatically, very strongly. That is precisely what I mean when I said it was capable and faithful. This is what I meant. When I said that stick was capable and faithful, this is what I meant. A stick can lead a blind man. The a stick, the uses of a stick, it can lead a blind man. Because blind men usually walk with a stick. So it's a stick is something is something very, very useful to a blind man. And it can also train a dog. Now for training a dog, you need a stick. So these are the several uses of a stick. As a liver, as a liver, it can move, it can lift what? Heavy objects. So number three. Number one, a stick can lead a blind man. Number two, number two it can train a dog. Number three, it can, it can be used as a liver to lift heavy objects. Number four, it can be used to thrash an enemy. You can beat, you can punish an enemy. It can be used to thrash an enemy. In short, so these are the different uses of a stick, you know, as far as man from hell is concerned. In short, the stick is the root and source of all tools. The source of all tools, it is the stick. Woman from hell. But with the same stick, you can beat me. You can beat me. And I can beat you back with the same stick. Man from hell. Isn't that what faithfulness means? This is what I said. This is the meaning of what I said. What? It is something very faithful, very loyal, very faithful. A stick remains a stick. A stick remains a stick. No matter how it is used. It doesn't matter, you know, how a stick is used by different people. But remember, in the long run, a stick is a stick. Don't forget. You might also say that the etymology of the word faithful is a stick. Etymology of the word stick. Now, where did the word stick come from? Stick in the word in the walker, you have done the one. You know, the, the chronological origin of the word stick. The stick in the word in the walker, young and you die. It is from the word, the chronological word faithful is stick. Or, no, faithful. Sati Santana in the word in the walking day, Uravadam, young and you die. The chronological origin of the word, word faithful, it is from the stick. Amokyal Aduvariyana, it is from the stick. It is from the word stick that the word faithful has come. Etymology, the origin of words. Woman from hell, unconvinced. She is not convinced. The etymology of the word faithful is stick. She is not convinced enough. But what you are saying is too miserable. Man from hell, all it's all it boils down to is well, the crux of the matter, the heart of the matter, all it boils down to is what? A living stick has turned into a dead stick. This is the crux of the matter. This is the heart of, this is the gist. Right? Sentimentality is forbidden to earth duty personnel. As far as people like you and me are concerned, there is no, there is no place, there is no scope for sentimentality. Sentimental feelings, human feelings have no place in people like you and me. Well, continue with your analysis. We'll stop this discussion.
and you start with your analysis and making the report. Woman remains silent. What's the matter now? I want the main points of your report. Give me the main points of your report. Woman from hell, <coughs> pulling herself pattern. She starts doing, pulling herself together, starts doing things. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Next, I'll telephone headquarters. I want to make a telephone call to headquarters. Everybody, Naragat in the headquarters. She is woman from hell. So she is supposed to make, you know, interim reports. I'll telephone headquarters and inform them of the exact time and place of the disappearance of the person in question. Imagine, the disappearance of the time and place of disappearance of this man in question. I am supposed to report and verify the certification number. Then I decide what the punishment, what sort of a punishment is to be given. I decide the punishment and register what the variety and the disposition. Man from hell. And what decision have you made on the punishment? You now, what is the punishment that you're going to give? A woman does not reply. Surely there can be no doubt in your mind. I know you are sure about it because you are a good student. A simple case like this, it is not a complicated case. It's simple. So a, 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 an apprentice, a trainee like you, you know, must be sure of, of all these things uh, such as the, the punishment that is to be given and all that. Now, woman from hell, you know, I rather enjoy wandering around the specimen room. The specimen room, I like. Is specimen room in English China? But I just don't seem to recall the, any specimen specific. I wandered or I searched all the I searched all the places of the specimen, but I couldn't I couldn't get you know any any sign, uh, any specimen of a stick. I I never got uh, the the specimen of a stick. If one year she shakes her head doubtfully, dubi dubiously. Man from hell. There aren't any. Out on the middle. There aren't any specimens of the stick. Of course. Now woman from hell relieved. So it's a special case. So it's a special case, isn't it? Man from hell. Now calm yourself. Cool down. Cool down. Calm yourself. Just think. I realize, I understand. This is your first on-the-job training. So this is your first experience. This is your first on-the-job training. And it is disturbing to hear anything uh, quite so, quite so wide, off the mark. Irrelevant. Prathanyamilata kairingalu parainadu atramalala. So you have to be a little bit careful. The fact that something isn't in the specimen room doesn't mean the fact that something isn't in the specimen room doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean that it is so rare. Now you can't say on the contrary. Now woman from cell catching on the last. You mean it is because sticks are so common. It is because a specimen is not found because it is very common. A specimen room in the body is not found. It is called a sarva why it is Now, man from hell. Exactly. During the last last 20 or 30 years, Karinya Uru, Patti Rivada, Patti Muppada, Varshan Laita, the percentage of sticks has steadily gone up. Isn't the population? Either. The population of the stick has gone up. Why? I understand that in extreme cases, 98.4% of all those who die in a given month turn into sticks. In Bhumil, Marikin Aligali, Tonuti Ette point Nali Sathamana Aligal, they turn into sticks. Adwanda, there is a flood of sticks. The place is flooded with the sticks. The percentage of sticks has gone up, the population has gone up. Now, woman from hell, woman from hell, yes, I remember now. Oh, you can hear me, 
Probably it will be all right if I leave the stick as it was during its lifetime. Jeevachirinapol, ee vali yengani ayirunno, adayavar than idunna anu nalladu. Without any special punishment, we need not intervene. Don't give any punishment. So, leave it unpunished, unaffected. I think that's better. Man from hell, now you are on the right track. Ah, ni ippa shiri ayi veri nandu. Uru nalla kutti ayi veri nandu. Now you are on the right track. Now, woman from hell, the only thing I have to do is verify, to verify the certification number. It won't be necessary to register the punishment. That is not needed. The registration of the punishment is not needed. Now, man from hell. Well, do you remember what it says in our textbook? They who came up for judgment. As if you know, from quoting from the Bible. But were not judged. Viti parayan vendi vanna yalagale. Viti chilla. But have turned into sticks and filled the earth. So they, they, they returned. They, they turned. They transformed themselves into sticks and they returned to earth. The master has departed. This is what is given in the text. And the earth has become a grave of rotten sticks. Angane. Alinya vadiyalde. Uri narayit mari. Bhoomi. That is why, what? The shortage of help in hell has never become especially acute. The shortage of help in hell. Shortage of help. In hell has never become so especially acute. Our shortage because everybody is here. They transformed themselves into sticks, and the earth is filled with the rotten sticks. Now, woman from hell takes out a walkie-talkie. With walkie-talkie, police are going to run the walkie-talkie. Well, shall I call headquarters? Man from hell talks to the walkie-talkie from her. He takes the walkie-talkie from her. I'll show you how it is done just for the first time. I'll show you, give you an example. He switches the walkie-talkie on. Switches on the walkie-talkie. Hello? Headquarters? Hello? Headquarters? This is MC Training Squad. On Earth duty. Now he's calling headquarters. Now voice from hell. Roger, headquarters here. Man from hell. Request verification of a, cert a certification number. So here is the certification number, MC621, I repeat, MC621, voice from hell, you know, repeats the same number, yes, MC621, Roger, man from hell, the time was 22 minutes, 10 seconds before the hour, so the time of disappearance of the stick, the place was Time and place are given. Ward B. 32 stroke 4 on the grid. Stick fell from the roof of terminal department store. So this is the reporting of the incident. The stick fell from the top of the top roof of uh, the department store here. Yes, Roger, go ahead. No punishment. So no punishment is given. Registration unnecessary. Over. Finished. Roger. Registration unnecessary. Request information on next assignment. Request on next assignment. Please give us the next assignment. Request assignment. Request information on next assignment. Six minutes, 24 seconds from now. In Ward B, 32 stroke 8 on the grid. Over. Finished. Woman from hell opens her notebook and jots down, writes down a memo. That would make it somewhere behind the station. Man from hell. Roger. 32 stroke. 8. Voice from hell. Good luck on your mission. Best wishes. Over. Roger. Thanks a lot. Suddenly changing his tone.
man from hell. So the communication on walkie talkie is over. I'm sorry to bother you, but if my wife comes over, if my wife comes over, would you mind telling her I forgot to leave the key uh, to my locker? Now, voice from hell with a click of the tongue, like this. You are hopeless. Well, this is the last time. Over. Because he is talking about the wife. That is the human relations. That they realize, you know, there is no, no space. There is no scope for human feelings. Now he talks about his wife. Now, the you are hopeless. Well, this is the last time. Over. See, last warning. A sort of last warning. Voice from hell. With... Uh, a click it. You're hopeless. Well, this is the last time. Over. Man from hell laughs. Roger. So long. See you. Turns off the walkie talkie. That is how to do it. Now, this is how to. This is, this is how you are supposed to make a report to the headquarters in hell. Woman from hell. Thank you, sir. I think I understand now. Now, man from hell. What's the matter? You look kind of down in the mouth. What happened? You look gloomy and dejected. What happened? Now, the man from hell asks the woman, returns to a walkie-talkie to, returns the walkie-talkie to woman. Now, woman from hell says, barely man is smile on the chitty can It's nothing really, nothing. Well, man from hell, well, shall we say goodbye? Shall we say goodbye to our stick somewhere around here? Okay, you are here to say goodbye to our stick somewhere here. Shall we, say, shall we stop the business uh, with the stick around here? Shall we stop it here? What do you think? Shall we call it a day? 